what is the future of e-bikes? Hey, what's up YouTube world? It's Ryan from Ride In Style. And today I just wanted to talk pretty quickly about um, some changes that are coming uh, within the e-bike market. And um, I think more people are slowly becoming aware that changes are coming and some changes were inevitable. To start, it looks like different states are going to start passing more restrictions and legislation on e-bikes. Now, which e-bikes? It could be all of them or it could be based on a motor size, how fast your bike goes based on a top speed. But it seems like these, uh, these governments are trying to limit um, overall performance of these bikes and then if you have a bike that's considered more powerful or more uh, dangerous then they may require you know tacking on fees maybe having to have it registered paying a registration fee every year having it insured and what defines an e-bike you know I mean some people see these bikes that resemble faster dirt bikes is that the target for future legislation or could it be any and all bikes see I like the bikes that have pedals because to me that's what that's what defines a bike and I've mentioned it in, in past videos where you know if my bike battery dies I could still technically ride my bike home like a traditional bike although it would be a lot heavier anyway if you have one of these electric motorcycles or dirt bikes there's no pedals so if your battery dies you just have to basically walk it home not saying that these electric motorcycles are bad it's just saying that it's a factor to consider as you own one of these bikes for battery battery management standpoint I can also foresee that there's going to be certain things required on future bikes whether it be a headlight and a tail light and turn signals maybe a brake light you know I mean whatever types of changes that they may start to implement. See, the thing is that America has been able to get away with more powerful e-bikes than other countries. Canada already has strict uh, restrictions on how your bike can perform. Europe has very strict restrictions on what bikes are allowed and what bikes are not allowed. And I wanna say Europe even has uh, the capability to test your bike by their law enforcement so if you get stopped there's a device that can actually test your bike right there on the road if they're investing in that kind of technology that means that they are going to pass you know laws and they are going to enforce them for sure but so what is the future of e-bikes what's it gonna look like well that's why we're here more notably I'm not even trying to discourage people from considering one. If you're already considering buying one, I would want to say the time to buy it is now because there is a new uh, tariff, which probably isn't new, but it's uh, if you check out tariff number 301, it will show you that starting in the middle of June, which is not that far away from when I'm recording this video, these tariffs are going to make it cost more to import components that are required for e-bikes. Whether the entire bike is assembled overseas or if it's just the battery that you know these companies are owning or uh, ordering and um, it's just going to start to cost more to make and of course that cost gets passed on to the consumer so it costs a lot more to buy an e-bike. So if you're considering one I would say the time to get one is now before you know costs start to really skyrocket you there may be still a small window to make that purchase without having to pay a lot because we don't know what the new costs are going to be and I feel like people that already own e-bikes you're probably holding on to a pretty good investment because then you may be able to turn around and sell it for more if the cost of new e-bikes go up by 20 to 25 to maybe 30 percent depending on what these e-bike manufacturers are going to start to pass on to their new customers see i don't have 
all the facts and all the details I'm learning just like everyone else these changes are coming in real time so we have to try to educate ourselves to help make better decisions on investing in one of these bikes I mean these bikes are not cheap they cost a couple of thousand dollars and up so it is it is an investment and I'm just posting this video to give you something to consider if you already own an e-bike and if you're considering buying a new one um, I was looking at a couple too and a couple different e-bikes and I was wondering all right is it worth it well I guess time will tell what the new cost is going to be because a lot of these companies don't have a lot of inventory in stock and there's a lot of waiting lists um, based on future bikes that are either in production or on their way but the way I understand it is if these bikes that are already on their way if they're not passed through like customs by June 14th 2024 these new tariffs will um, affect these bikes and the cost it'll just raise the price I don't know if, how that's done like if it's done at the pier or the dock wherever these bikes are delivered I don't know if the tariffs, I guess the tariffs would have to be placed here as um, goods start to make their way into the country. But anyway, I just wanted to record a short video of um, the changes that are coming. You know, whether it be the price increase because of these new tariffs or if it'll be different state legislations um, adding further restrictions on what bikes you can and can't have. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's a, it's a good a good thing do you think it's about time um, do you just feel like you know it was bound to happen well let me know in the comments below thank you for watching this short video this is Ryan from riding in style yeah.